AITA for not allowing my kid's father to see his kids until he gets rid of his girlfriend? Advice needed. My kid's father doesn't respect himself, let alone his kids. A year and a half ago, he and his girlfriend got into a really bad argument, to the point where my kids called me and told me they didn't feel safe. So being the mother I am, I drove to his house late at night to come get them. He tried to convince me that it's normal for people to fight and argue. But what he's leaving out is she put her hands on him on more than one occasion and my kids have been witness to it. They told me that he came downstairs that same night with blood on his head because she had hit him in the head with something. My kids, ages 13 and 9, twins, at the time, were scared and they told me they didn't feel safe with his girlfriend in the house. Now he has always been a cheater. He's never been good at relationships his entire life. His girlfriend found out that he was cheating, so she decided to burst the windows out of his car while my kids were in the backseat. They were terrified. And to this day, she still has access to my kids through him. My kids don't like it, but because they love their dad so much they tolerate her. He thinks I'm making all of this up because I'm bitter and angry, so he doesn't care about how I feel in the matter. He only cares about himself and having access to the kids. I feel as though his allowing her to have access to them shows that he doesn't respect them and their feelings in the matter. I feel like he is being very selfish and only thinking about how he feels. Am I wrong for keeping the kids away from him until he gets rid of his girlfriend? Or should I just let it go and let the courts deal with it? Update. He came over to my house and we all talked together as a family. He insisted that the kids never said they didn't like his girlfriend or that they were afraid of her. He thought that was all coming from me because I was mad and bitter towards him. The kids let him have it. They told him everything they told me, expressed their feelings openly, and told him that they would prefer it if she didn't come around anymore. He and I share joint custody of them and he has unlimited parenting time. So legally I can't keep the kids from him. I talked to my attorney and she said that I have to go down to a friend of the court in downtown Detroit to file a new parenting time motion and allow the courts to handle it from there. We live in Michigan. I apologize for not letting y'all know that before. Anyway, he agreed to never bring her around again and that he would quote, keep her separate from them. I still think it's crap because why would you continue to see her after learning about how your kids feel about her? But that's not my business. As long as she doesn't come around them or communicate with them, I'm perfectly fine. I'm still gonna go downtown to file a new parenting time motion, so we don't run into any more problems like this in the future. I appreciate all the feedback, whether it was negative or positive. I learned from this situation. Now if he continues to bring her around them after us having that family discussion, then that's when I will take it to the next level and file a restraining order. Yes, I have texts and proof to get one, but I legally have to do this the right way or I could be held in contempt of court. That'll just make it worse. My kids are fine, and they said they feel better now that their feelings are out in the open. Again, thank you all.